Hey guys, my name is Nothing But Net, and today we're going to be counting down the best player from each team in point averages. So we'll probably be doing this for assists and rebounds, maybe even blocks or steals. But yeah, so starting off, off we have the no, Dallas Mavericks. Sorry, it's JJ Barea who is 12.1 points per game. Who's I'm pretty sure tied with Dirk Nowitzki. So, but I just put him in here because Dirk's already got a lot of. Recognition. And then 29, we have Zach Randolph, who is 15.1 points per game. Who, yeah. So, he's playing pretty well for his age, but he's still not that, that like, super good. So, then next up, we have Tobias Harris, who is 15.8 points per game. So, that's okay. Really, not too good, but they're not also not too bad. The best for their team, but best player would probably be Andre Drummond because he's always, yeah, he's always averaging a double double. Next up, we have Nikola Jokic, who is 16.3 points per game. So, yeah, that's that's okay. And then we have who we have next Goran Dragic, who's 16.5 points per game. Again, okay, but not, not too good. Then for number 26, we have Michael Conley. Or Mike. Mike Conley, really. Whatever. Who is 17.1. So, yeah. That's actually quite good averages. Like, mine aren't that. So, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Rodney Hood is... Next up, and he is 17.5. Then there's Carl Kuzma, who is 17.9. And then after Carl Kuzma, we are going to have Nikola Miracic for the Chicago Bulls, who is 18.3. Then we have, for the Orlando Magic, Aaron Gordon, who's playing really, really well. He's a very good dunker. And is 18.9. Then we have Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder, Schroeder. Who's 19.8. And then we have D'Angelo Russell who is 20.9. So then coming in at 19. We have Jimmy Butler. Who is 21.4. And then after Jimmy Butler we have... I'm just checking this. Kemba Walker, who is, his average is 21.6. So, like, there's a lot of players that are good for a team. So, you can actually discount this as really, like, the top 30 best players. But then also for, like, Warriors, there's got some other good ones. Like, four of those players have been in the top 30. Well, maybe not. Three, maybe three, yeah. So, off... So then after nine, 18, we, number 17, 16, LaMarcus Aldridge, who's 22 points a game, is his average. Then we have Bradley Beal, who's playing incredible, who is averaging 23.4. That's actually quite good averages for him since he's never been an all-star. Maybe he'll make his first appearance in Los Angeles. Next up, we have Blake Griffin of the Los Angeles Clippers, who is averaging, let's just see, this 23.9. And I think we have a couple that are 23.9. Next up, we have uh, Joel Embiid, who is averaging 23.9 also. Yep. Then we have Kristaps Porzingis, who... Is, yeah, he's playing really well. 24.5. Next up, we have Russell Westbrook, who's 24.8. Kyrie Irving's also 24.8. And then DeMar DeRozan is also 24.8. So, yeah, and then we're going to get to the top. Well, that was. Now, uh, this is the top eight. So, number eight, seven, eight. Uh, I'm confused. We have. Oh, so this is actually one. Oh, so it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, top 
Top eight. Number eight is Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns, who is averaging 24.9 points. I actually didn't know how much he was averaging, but he's playing really well. Victor Oladipo of the Pacers is averaging 24.9. Oh, so he's tied with him. Damian Lillard of the Portland Trailblazers is averaging 25.2. And DeMarcus Cousins of the New Orleans Pelicans is averaging 26.2. So Anthony Davis is also quite close to him. Then we have Stephen Curry, 26.8. Um, number three, I'm pretty sure, LeBron James, who is 27.8. And then top two, most people would could um, expect this. Giannis, 29 points, and uh, I wonder who's number one. Harden is averaging 32.3 points. I'm pretty sure that's one of the highest since Will Chamberlain's 50. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and it's 2018. I might do a video about that. Uh, next, but thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.